Okay, so today I want to do a quick test on my Rock Pals 100 watt foldable solar panel. And I previously had this hooked up to my Yeti 400 and I was pulling about 60 watts on average. And um, one thing I noticed, this unit here has this little, I don't, I don't even know if I'd call it a controller, I'm not exactly sure what it is, but there's three SUB ports on there. It very well could just be, those USB ports could be tied into whatever voltage the panel's pulling and then you know taking it from there. I'm not sure if that's a PWM control, uh, controller or not, but what I wanted to do to get a better estimate of how many watts this thing produces is hook it up to my TriStar MPPT controller. So this is an MPPT60 TriStar and I, I kind of have it hooked up so that it stays in MPPT mode which is you know what some would call bulk charge and um, this is what I'm pulling right now 43 watts and I've seen it go as high as 70 and what I'm I just have the panel laying out flat and if you can see it is a little hazy it's a little bit of a clouds right there in the sky and so what I'm going to do is I'll uh, tip, uh, tilt these panels as well to try to get the maximum wattage out of them and we're going to see I'm going to try to just focus on this if you can see hopefully you can see that it's 45 watts and I'm gonna go ahead and try to tilt the panels up and you can see right now we're at 52, 55, 56, so. I'm gonna try to get these tilted a little better so they're all tilted the same way. Okay, I'm kinda, I don't know if you can see that, but. And I'm just gonna try to adjust them down and up until I get the highest wattage. So I was at 58. Again, there's a little bit of a cloud cover way up there. So we might have to wait a minute or two. I'm not exactly sure how anybody is getting 100 watts out of these panels. I think more realistically, you know, maybe depending on the time of the year and the right angle, maybe you can get 80 watts out of it and who knows maybe somebody can get a hunter but in my test so far now i'm in uh, western pennsylvania and it is september 19th so most i've gotten here was 70 and i'm gonna wait till that little bit of a cloud passes and see if this goes up a little bit so i'll be right back so i was um able to get 59 you can see it right there almost 60 watts there you go 60 right there and just for comparison's sake because i rolled out my 136 watt solar panel by unisolar and we're going to check and see how many watts that produces it's supposed to produce 136 so let's just see what kind of wattage that produces on a day like this and again it's there's some very very light clouds way up there but we're getting about 60 watts out of that panel. So I'll cut back in when I get the unisolar hooked up. Okay, so the unisolar is now hooked up. And you can see the unisolar is pulling 90 watts out of 136. 91, 92. And it's just laid out flat. There's no special orientation. So we'll do the math on that and see the percentages that each has pulled out. Now I've seen the unisolar do, I've seen the unisolar do 136 watts before. So what we'll do is we'll take 90 divided by 136 and then we'll take 60 and divide it by 100. And we'll see the efficiency that both of these are getting on um, a September late September day here in Western Pennsylvania. 
can see that, that I love these unisolars because they're so flexible and they put out a decent amount of wattage even if it's partly sunny out I mean we're up to 91 watts now now the nice thing about the rock towels is it's foldable and it's highly portable so these four panels here that one that one that one that one they kind of fold up onto each other and then it has a nice little carrying case so it's actually not a bad solar panel but no, you know, in most circumstances, at least out here in Western Pennsylvania at this time of the year, we're only going to pull it out about 60 watts. This solar, you can see we're pulling 95 watts now. We haven't done anything, anything at all different. Uh, 96, 97. So if I really were looking to bring something with me that I needed 100 watts, I probably would bring the unisolar, but if I could wait a little longer and you know, for things to charge and I only really needed 50 to 60 watts, I definitely would bring the Rock Pals. But you can just see too the difference. I mean the width, obviously these panels are a little wider, but just notice that that's only a couple feet, maybe four or five feet. And I think that's 22 feet. So, and again, it's a different kind of panel. I think these are monocrystalline and these are the older technology. But these, are, these ones here are supposed to work better. These ones here are supposed to work better in cloudy conditions. So, and we're up to 98 watts. So you can see that it's almost at 100 watts. What I'm going to do is switch back over to the Rock Palace and just kind of just do a final wattage on them. Okay, I hooked the Rock Pals back up, and you can see we're on 43 watts. So what I'll do is I'll try to aim the panels again while I'm doing this, which is a bit tricky, but we'll see what we can do. Okay, 53 watts. And again, I had this up to 60, I believe, and I'm sure it actually would go a little higher for other people, you know, depending on the time of the year and what the where the sun is overhead but I'm um, you know folded I, I mean tilted I can get about 60 watts out of it and again <clears throat> this is going into an MPPT tar a charge controller so there's 50 watts right there just and that's just flat on the ground so let me try to tilt it again and see if we can get that up a little higher. Okay, 59, 62, 65. So you see, like I said, I mean, depending, depending on where you are in this country, you might be able to get maybe close to 100 of it, 100 watts out of it, but I just can't. Uh, at least this time of the year I can't and I'll, I'll do this test again in the winter and also in the um, spring and summer but that's you know 67 watts I think I'm pulling right there and that's at a you know you can kind of see I don't know how well you can see that but that's at the angle I have so I almost pulled 70 watts and again not a bad panel for the size it's a really small size foldable and uh, I don't know if it's quite 100 watts, but it's it's close to it. And here's the last test before I put them away. I made them flat again. It is not a cloud up there right now. And I'm pulling 50 watts. So I think with some creative angling, you, know, you saw I was able to get almost 70 watts out of it but laying flat on the ground, it's pulling 50.